Alright, I think I'm going to do one more of these, and then I'm going to move on to the star pack until the end of the stream. Oh, big ant team. We'll be the, you know, there's bacteria. Let's be the flooded bacteria, and I will aim for a micro build. <laughs> if I can. Again, it's the two squad. Scary stuff. Oh, I don't need this many ants, but <laughs> I'm taking it. Uh, honey is actually kind of tempting, but let's, let's just do this, I think. No, cricket keeps us alive, and this thing, it's unlikely that we actually get, like, good, good value out of that. Oh, actually survived the mosquito hit, but we do not survive. <laughs> Bad trays overall. Alright, what do you have for me? Hatching chick! Pretty good. I'll probably take the dromedary, too. Yeah, I think that's okay. Alright, let's take both of these then. I'm going to immediately sell this. And again, if I'm buying any food, it's these two, so I'm going to keep that frozen. And you know what? I'm actually, I'm going to combine here, buy this. I'm going to roll and we better find something worth freezing. <laughs> Fine. I mean, I could like leave one of them. I really don't like tabby cats, but like a 7-5 is pretty big for, you know, turn 4. Yeah, I'm going to leave the spider. I like pilling them, but... I'd feel bad pilling a 4-4 spider. No, I shouldn't. I should keep it. Okay. Would have sent it like that then. I maybe could have buffed something further back. Like buffing a 2-4 would probably mean more meaningful here. Oh. Never mind. Things are working. Yeah. Alright, yeah. It looks like we're not dropping any more frames, so. <laughs> should be saved. Uh, I'm probably buying this ant. Like, if I didn't sell the other one, then I probably should be taking this. Maybe I'll, like, leave these in here for an <laughs> another minute. Hmm. I'll buy one. I think I'll buy the... Yeah, the spider doesn't need the stats, so I'm going to just buy that as it is, and then I'm going to roll a bit. We don't need more spiders. We can find tier threes next turn instead of <laughs> pilling these. Uh, we don't need two pills. Okay. Yeah, I'm still pilling that one. This one, starter next turn, it's getting pilled. I think I'll buff that instead, though. Is it ever worth upgrading the hatching chick? It is, but I don't think it's as great as a lot of people would seem to think it is. I don't know, hatching chick has always felt like a weird one for me, because it's such an investment just to get to tier 2, and then even then it's just like a worse monkey. Or, you know, like, you know, it's giving like penguin stats at level 2. Like, it's, it's kind of like a giraffe, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I think it's worth it, yeah. It just, it just feels awkward. You know what? Sure. I'm keeping the dromedaries too, because I would like to get some value out of those. And then let's just like buy everything here. Okay, that's great. Let's... This is pretty good, I think. I'm not doing a puppy game. <laughs> the dromedary, I don't care about it scaling anymore. I just want to get the level up so I can find a higher tier thing. Which I'm, you know, I don't know what the odds are of that. You miss old penguin scaling, so do I. I never felt like penguin was overpowered, but they they nerfed him anyway, twice in a row. Very mean. We're not buying tabby cats. <laughs> I don't like tabby cats. We continue rolling. There are so many like combos we can get. I'll freeze that because if I don't find anything else, then that's great. Okay, we have two combos for next turn. Excellent. I do not need that many dromedaries. Let's send this on here then. Okay, it's a it's a bit weird, but <laughs> I'm not completely against it. Alright, bad trades at the front. And then an amazing trade. Okay. Penguin was good but never OP. That's about where I thought it was. Like its its condition was weird. Cause like everything having to be a level two is like it's not it's not hard, but it's more of a condition than like giraffe or monkey is. But I don't know. I guess it's because like, it had a higher max output than Monkey did at the time. And they didn't like that considering it was a lower tier unit. Uh, but yeah, show me things. This one first. Cows, fine. Show me a seal, please. <laughs> Poodle's also pretty good. The problem is now we have two tier threes that I like. I don't like this tier one at all. Uh, yeah, I need to buy this Poodle, I think. I think we can maybe get rid of that. Maybe I even keep the cow just to scale it with the poodle. Seems very dumb, but I kind of like it. 
Let's see. I don't want to use the dromedary, so that can go. I want to buy sell the owl. But I don't know whether I get rid of this first. Nah. Alright, let's let's buy sell this. And then I'm actually going to juice up my poodle, because no, because this that makes no sense. But I can't keep both of these. Oh, there's so many options. And it's all bad. <laughs> Alright. I know Poodle doesn't work with both of these, but let's keep this around for longer. I'll use this to scale. I may pivot off the Poodle eventually. For now, though, it's still pretty good stats. The problem is, Hatchy Chick, by the time you get to level 2, you have better scaling in the shop, and then level 3 is just a bad alpaca. Yeah. That's the thing. It just takes way too much effort to get it to a useful stage, and by the time you can't get that, it's just not as useful as, like you said, other things you can find in the shop. Uh, give me one of these. Or an ant. Just <laughs> give me something. We can't really do a micro build anymore. A hey. Next turn. Next turn we'll go for that. I'm kind of tempted to give that something, but I really don't want to. Let's buy stats. That's fine. Uh, you know what? Let's go all in on this. I think I can maybe get that to level 3. I don't think it's that much of an improvement, but it's, it's nice. And can you hit the <laughs> dolphin a bit more, please? I don't actually care about scaling the hatching chick. I want to be able to sell it eventually. Oh. Tier 5 old penguin needs to be a thing. Tier 5 old penguin. I don't know. I still like it being a tier 4. It just feels like more of a temporary unit now. Also, that is amazing. I'm always a big fan of octopus, and I'll be buffing that instead of the hatching chick. Let's get rid of the poodle, but... Yeah, I think I get rid of the tabby. I'm going to abandon this, because it's not really worth leveling it up, and if I find any more chocolates or anything, it's going on the octopus. Oh, more loud sounds. <laughs> uh, that's fine, but... I want to pill it. <laughs> I want to pill it so bad, but I don't think I can. Again, that would be really nice, but it's so hard to justify. And yeah, give this the stats. You get why it was nerfed and why Dragonfly can target more, because it's even weirder requirements. Dragonfly just never feels good. It just, I feel like it never hits what I want it to. <laughs> it's it's not, not a great time. Alright, maybe I get rid of the Hatching Chick now. Like, it's it's pretty big by itself. Actually, no, because there's targeted stats on there. So again, I could do this, but that's only if I'm keeping, like, my whole squad. You know what? Maybe I am. <laughs> maybe I am keeping the whole squad. I was hoping for a chocolate or something there, but sure. We can leave it like this. I feel like we can maybe coast a bit like this. Not a hard coast, but a, a coast. Oh yeah. <laughs> we're definitely in a good spot at the moment, at least. Alright, yeah, we're, we're keeping the team. Just buy stats. Buy stats, gonna leave that one. The team stays. I can't even... I mean, I could pill the Mammoth and get rid of the Poodle, but <laughs> I'd rather not do that. Uh, tiger behind an Octopus is always great, but then I wouldn't have like good scaling because I wouldn't be able to put that on my Octopus anymore. I could do Tiger Octopus with a Mushroom. And then I just have to worry about like leveling things. Let's do it. I think that's worth it. I can buy sell that as well. This is too big to get like, to let go of now. Uh, that's a scary team. Yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Maybe could have got lucky if the uh, the octopus managed to get, like, multiple triggers, but I think that's okay. Still going to buff it. Like, if it can tank a hit by itself, then all the better. I'm doing this. I'm just going to let this, like, buff the tiger, too. That is amazing. Please don't let me die. <laughs> uh, I can't really use the cow, either. Nah, can't use the cow. Let's just keep going, I think. Alright, Tiger. I like it. I definitely leveled this up first, because it benefits more from the mushroom, but... Actually, no, it benefits, like, just as much from the mushroom as the Tiger would, but, yeah. The Tiger's also very weak, so it's more like to die to snipes. Oh. <laughs> okay. We just need to level... Oh, another mushroom. Alright, I'm probably putting that on the Tiger, too. It's survivability in case it gets sniped, and I feel like we may need that. 
I don't know. I'm feeling better about it now. The team isn't looking as terrible as it was. I would love to have, like, weakness on the team somehow, though. Like, if we had taken an early bat. Hey. <laughs> this is such a good combination. Uh, yeah, we don't need that many. I'm going to buy this now, because I'm really hoping we can get that level up soon. Honestly, a stake is pretty good. It's like a stake on the dolphin, maybe. Like, the, this equipment isn't doing anything. I'm going to leave the pizza. <laughs> and I'm keeping this. I don't know if we're going to get that leveled up, but if, like, two more show up in the shop at the start of next turn, I'm taking it. Like, it's only as good as, like, one tiger, but... You have to. You have to go for the dream. If there's ever a chance. It's a shame this isn't quite meme enough for YouTube. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I, to be fair, I had another run like this, uh, I don't know, a couple of streams ago. I'm not buying it straight away, but I'm keeping it frozen. I know it's like blocking other slots that could be a tiger, but yeah, let's roll. Oh. <laughs> Come on, three more rolls. Show me the tiger level up. That's not bad for something as well, but we got it. Last roll. Dude. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. Uh, but yeah, so yeah, this won't be a YouTube video, but I did get a good YouTube video somewhat recently where I had like Again, Mushroom Tiger, Mushroom Tiger Octopus, and we had a level 3 bat as well, I think. Oh, it's not over. Level 4 Octopus. I'm just going all in. We get one roll, I'm maximizing our odds of getting this leveled up. Oh, <laughs> I don't think it's even worth taking any of this. Let's just like, keep rolling. And if we find one, it's for next time. Well, there's another one, but maybe we'll get another draw. Maybe, maybe it can happen. <laughs> Who knows? I don't know why I should be buffing with the hatching chick either. Like, maybe I should move that further forward. Uh, this doesn't look great. Oh, no. We needed to hit the front thing. Alright. <laughs> yeah, nine trophies. Fun combination. Definitely would have benefited from having a weakness thing in the build. I think when you're doing that sort of thing, it helps more to know like what you're going for early. Uh, six more trophies, yes. Alright, and what did I say I was going to do? The star pack, right. Now you miss old Octo. I, like, never used old Octo. I can't even remember what the ability was. But I like current Octo quite a lot. It's it's very fun, especially with mushrooms and tigers. Also, I love all of that. That's a nice start. I should always, always freeze the strawberry. <laughs> I, like, I don't like most of the... Uh, Tier 1 food, but out of all the tier 1 foods, and, and you know, on this pack, I'm buying the strawberry over anything else. Like, if I see hummingbirds, you need a strawberry. Come on. There we go. Okay, we have this as well, which is great. Loving the team already. This is nice. What did old Doctor do? I can't completely remember. They had different abilities at each level up. Because, like, you know, the current one is, um... You know, each level up, it just, like, throws out another projectile. But it used to be, it had, like, three separate abilities. Like, one would be, it would, like, heal itself. The other would be, it, like, deals two damage to every enemy or something. The level ups gave plus eight, plus eight, and then it hit everything on the other team for its level three. Hmm. Also, we just, we've just been gifted an XP build. <laughs> I wasn't even looking. Okay, whatever. I know we missed a thing on the jellyfish, but... I can't leave this behind. I will... I'm selling this. I want it now. Alright, because then we can get this to work. I'm going to put this on... Yeah, put this on here, because I need to make sure that triggers before other things. So now this gets an XP, and then when that dies, it gets another XP, so this will level up. So we do get some value there. See you, Kino Chats. Good luck with the rolls and slots in the view. Oh, good luck with rolls and slots for view lobbies. Thank you, and see you later, Ostrich. Hope you had fun. Alright, so yeah, we, we want more of these. More XP things, I will hard roll, because I'm greedy. I am extremely greedy and unrewarded. <laughs> Please. Okay, well, that was a turn. It's fine. Next turn, we're going to have, like, four, four clownfish in the shop. Just wait. They'll be there. Also, that is a spooky dude. But we actually draw. 
problem with, with All Doctor, it was OP at level 3 with the level 1 Tiger. Yeah, it was like self-healing and damage to everything, right? I remember like old, old Tiger. Like before they made it so like each level mimicked the level, level of the thing in front of it. My old Tiger used to just like double anything. Like, so it was like every Tiger was like a level 3 Tiger as it is now. It also used to work on like in-shop effects so you could have like Tiger Monkey. I remember. Those were the good days. <laughs> I'm not. I know I could level this, but I, I do not care. Alright, that's a good level up. Crow is nice as well. Let's just buy it. I feel like I need to have it on the team. Right, so that will be an insta level up. I can't get any other triggers, but I still think it's probably best to run everything as it is at the moment. Gain stats level 1 because the level 3 ability was in battle. Oh, I see. I didn't realize that the level 1 ability was only meant to be for, um... Oh, because it's... No, I don't... I can't remember. I don't know. Losing my mind. I'd rather keep this for something else, so maybe I keep it frozen. Or maybe I just have, like, a, a pug chain. <laughs> That's not too bad. Although, I, it didn't need it because it's already level 2, so that was dumb. Uh, okay, well, we're buying this. No, it's actually better than that, and I can roll a bit more. I don't like Blobfish. I know it's better than Pug, but... I don't like... Ha well, it's better in terms of, like, you know, this is a, just plus 1 XP, and this is plus 1 XP, plus 1 1, but it has to die to trigger, and I don't like that as much. So I'm just going to leave it like this, I think. Yeah, and I don't think I could have positioned it in a nice way to get that blobfish to trigger the pug without like ruining the pug chain and wasting stats elsewhere. <laughs> Crow. Alright, whatever. What am I even leveling? I don't like this team. <laughs> Show me a husky. I'm gonna level something and I'm expecting a husky. Let's do this. I'm gonna put it all in jellyfish. Husky. Not a husky, but good stats. I'll take it. And I could sell it this turn, but I can't be bothered. That is lovely. Ooh, orangutan. I'm wondering whether I do try and pivot off to a weird scaling build, but... <laughs> I don't know. They always... Weird stuff always ends up happening when I do. I'll try and stay pure. We'll, we'll try and continue with this as it is. I think that's probably pretty worth it. Since I level level when that dies. Sure. This is just a sacrifice. Maybe I should have thrown it like right to the back, though. Uh, that's going to be very scary. Never mind. We've still got two great trades, and the rest was, like, <laughs> not scary at all. Alright, yeah. So I'm going to take this. I think we just sell Zebra. <sighs> just don't hit that, please. No. I'll just play it separately and just do this, then. That still helps. Blobfish is still, like, doing nothing. <laughs> and I refuse to invest. I don't like this Blobfish. Nah. Nah, we're done. We're, we're pivoting later. Oh, you know what? Let's do it now. Alright. So that's better, because now we get, like, three level ups. Or two level ups? I'm, I'm wondering how best to do this, because, like, I need this chain to happen, so it's, like, level up, then level up, but then I have no way to level this up. But it is still best to get the Clownfish leveled up, because... You get an extra 2-2 two, two instead of a 1-1, one, one, but it is on a different thing, so it's all weird. <laughs> I think it's okay, though. Uh, how's this looking? Eh, not bad. Not bad, not losing HP. <laughs> Capybaras. I'm not taking a polar bear. We have tried polar bear. This is not how you pivot to a polar bear. Alright, a husky. Potential. <laughs> there is there is potential here. Take that. Show me more huskies. I'm not taking any food. I'm hard rolling for either more XP. Oh yeah. That's an easy take. Ostrich. Ostrich is it's too early. But it is also amazing scaling, so I think I do still take this. Yeah, alright. Send it like this then. <laughs> On suboptimal, hello! Sorry, I was a bit late to seeing that. Hello, how's everyone doing? Welcome, Raiders. <laughs> what are you guys just doing? Did you do some uh, view lobbies or something? I 
still don't know if I want more of this. I'm worried about the ostrich. I know I can scale fast with it, but like... <laughs> I, want, I want a husky team so badly. But yeah, we probably should pivot off, maybe. Feels a bit weird, but... Alright, I think combine the pugs. I'm going to buy this, and I'm going to freeze that. The jellyfish, I don't know how long I'm keeping these. So I don't think I'm going to go for it. Also, we immediately found a full shop of this stuff. And Kalu! Thank you for the tier 2 sub. And then 9 months as well. Long time. <laughs> Thank you very much. You watch an exciting 1v1 set that went to game 7. Oh, I don't know 100% what that means, but... <laughs> it sounds long. Watch the 5v5 sets, yeah. Hmm. I don't want to buy food. I don't want to buy carrot anyway, because I, I like my husky. Let's see if we can find any like other stuff. Alright, sure. I'll buy a taco. That's fine for me. I'm going to unfreeze everything this turn, because next turn we might be able to find more ostriches or something. I don't know. I'd take a pug, because then we can get good clownfish value, but... Yeah. Anyway, send it like this, I think. <laughs> I don't even know. It's a team tournament, and that's pretty fun. I know, I've, I've heard about there being team tournaments. I don't know how that works, though. I should, like, look more into the, like, competitive scene. <laughs> how people are working that stuff. Dude, no. I'll freeze my line. I'm not touching these clownfish. Uh, something there. Come on, ostriches. I'm going to keep freezing them, because, like, oh. Actually, let's take the Komodo. Yeah, alright. <laughs> this is the smallest thing. Like, there's still synergy here, and this is the smallest thing, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to level these up, so... Let's do it this way, and then continue rolling. Hot dog's not bad, so then continue rolling for a tier 5 or 6. Didn't find it. I'm unfreezing everything, and uh, send it again. I'm always hoping that they, like, change ostrich in the same way they're doing to moose. It's like, it forces stuff to unfreeze at the end of the turn. Like, I feel like it's more... It's worse, but I feel like it's more interesting. Like, I like when I, I'm kind of prompted to have to roll every turn. You have eight team... Whoa, hold on. We kind of... Oh, there's a lot of nice things here. <laughs> we can definitely pivot to, like, double Stego. Like, it ruins the Komodo, so we probably have to sell that, but... Double Stego is as big as these things, really. Yeah, you have eight teams of nine and seven players play a 1v1 set each week. The team with the most sets wins the matchup. What if you have a sloth and it unfreezes at the end of the turn? I mean, that would suck, but, you know. <laughs> Whatever it takes, right? I'm taking this ostrich. I'm wondering... Uh, I guess I do just, like, sell this again. Sell this again. Then buy... Ostrich and freeze these. I'm probably not. I don't want to have to buy them. <laughs> it's, it's so much better than the husky, but like, uh, nah, we need to take it. I think we just go like, maybe try for triple, host, uh, triple ostrich and go for like double stego. I think we can survive with this for now. Let's, we still get like four rolls. If I like sell one of these and buy that. So yeah, we're not going to get level ups. I think this is still fine. Great. Alright, not terrible. Still unfreezing. <laughs> I still want to level these up. We can, like, get equipment on these soon as well, but it's not quite as easy. And let's give that the XP, just because I'd like my front line to be even tankier than everything else. Or maybe I should have put all the stats. Maybe I should have, like, put the stegos on each of these. Oh, still great trade, so it's not a problem. Alright, what have we got? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> That's what I wanted to see. Okay, so now we can uh, do this. There we go. Symmetry. Uh, can I get a grape or is that too greedy? Alright, we're just looking to freeze the... Oh god, there's another one. Uh, how, how greedy can I be? <laughs> I want to sell one and buy this ostrich. Oh, 
Yoshi's sound is weird. It is weird, and it used to be one of my least favorites. Now I'm I'm kind of used to it. I still wouldn't say I like it, but... God, it's turn 13. Like, we can scale 20, 20 a turn, if I get, like, a full shot frozen. Do it. I think it kills me. Like, we could get lucky, but, like, I'd be losing, again, like, 13, 13 plus the 3, 8 there for what's going to be, like, a 7, 13. Selling Stegger probably loses on turn 13, right? I have a feeling we might die anyway. So I'm kind of afraid. Just do it, do it, do it. Whatever. We'll do it. Honestly, I don't think this run is going to survive too long anyway, so... <laughs> I'll take the gamble. We probably do keep, like, everything frozen now, though. Like, if we somehow don't die, we need to continue scaling just as long as we can. Still, I'm really sad that you can't get chocolates in this pack. Like, I know there's crows, but if there was chocolate here, then I could roll, try and level them up. Yeah, terrifying stuff. <laughs> we got destroyed because of this. We would have had, like, an okay trade. We, I don't think we would have beaten it, but we would have had an okay trade if, uh, yeah, it didn't have that. Yeah, there we go. 